Oh my god, it never mind. Hey guys. Can everyone hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm Shannon. I'm the president of the To Write Love in Our Arms U chapter here on campus. Um, thank you guys all for coming out. This is a great turnout. Um, we are kicking off our Express Yourself campaign tonight with an evening with Sierra DeMolder. So you can all join me in welcoming her to York. My name is Sierra Mulder. Hello. I just drove here from Philadelphia. My sister lives here, at, or lives there, and we just drove here. And then we went to um, what's it called? The Knights something something. What did we eat? The Crimson Grill. The Crimson. Oh, the Knights Table. What the? <laughs> the Crimson Grill. Yeah, we just ate there really fast, so um, I'm very full. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna just get going. Thanks for being here. Um, how many people here have ever heard of uh, pro-anorexia? A couple people? Yeah, actually more than most people. Um, so we know what uh, anorexia is or bulimia, um, eating disorders, and um, pro-anorexia is actually a movement that started in the early 2000s, mostly, unfortunately, with young women. Um, basically, it is um, the support and promotion of an eating disorder as a lifestyle choice. Often the, uh, there are online communities that provide tips and encouragement and affectionately refer to themselves as Anna. So I'd like to say before I do this, if you take anything from my set tonight, um, whatever you think is wrong with your body isn't. And that's basically all. <laughs> One. Dear Anna. The truth is, I would never speak to a child the way I speak to myself. I would never tell a four-year-old that she is fat, that no one will love her. Anna, picture yourself as a little girl. Two, there is nothing empowering about lessing yourself. You are a vanishing act, your body the magic hat pulling out nothing, your body is a clothing rack. Your body is my favorite sweater shrunk in the dryer. Three, dear mothers of Hollywood, mothers of the red carpet and the 10 pounds the camera adds, how will your daughter ever learn to love her body if she is forced to watch you wring out yours? Will you tell her less is more, less is more, less I know more, less I know more, or less how to love myself? Four, hair loss is a side effect of bulimia. If you are so hell-bent on losing your hair, Anna, here are the scissors, here is the razor. Why don't you shave it? Why don't you donate it? Why don't you braid me a fucking scarf? Five, you are a beautiful martyr. You are a knuckle-kissing saint. You are a mother bird, and we are all your children, and we are all so hungry. We want to see a staircase around your lungs. We want to hang ornaments from your collarbone. We want nothing to do with your softness. Six, they don't show big girls in the magazines like they are afraid to show men what childbirth looks like. It is too real. It is too bloody. Seven, dear first world, what a privilege it is to hate our bodies, to suffocate in skin, or to shuck ourselves from the inside out. We can afford to eat too much or too little. No leftovers, no leftovers, no I left over. Know that I left over, know that I love what is left of me. Eight, dear Anna, when your loved ones carry your coffin, will they doubt, is there a body in there? like an empty suitcase, a silent instrument. Nine, I too have pulled at my torso. I too have imagined hemming my body, folding it in on itself. I suck it in, I suck it in. I turn off the light before I let him love me. 10, Anna, picture yourself as a little girl. Now tell her she is not good enough. Tell her she is ugly. When she comes to you hungry, do not feed her 11. Your body is not a temple. Your body is the house you grew up in. How dare you try to burn it to the ground? How dare you think you are anything but gorgeous? You are bigger than this. You are bigger than this. 12, dear Anna, you are swallowing yourself. Your voice is so small. Thank you. <laughs> 